Hey guys, so today is going to be a little mini haul of stuff I bought because I know it's weird to have a video up on Sunday but I bought a bunch of stuff and I didn't really want to put a picture in my Instagram so I decided to make a quick video out of it because I went to like a lot of places. I literally need to stop acting like I'm freaking Marie Antoinette. Like, I'm not rich. I have a waitress, like... I have a waitress job. I make minimum waitress wage. I don't understand why. Like, I've already spent my paycheck. I got my paycheck Friday, and I spent it on this haul. Like, I act like I'm freaking King Midas when I walk out of, like, my... When I walk out of the restaurant, like, 20 bucks. I'm like, oh, yeah. So, yeah. But it's already bought. I just wish I had more willpower. So, here we go. I'm just gonna start. So, the first thing I got... I actually got this yesterday because I, um... I have a blister, like, in my mouth, and it hurts so much. Oh, my God. Like, when I'm talking, it, like, hurts. So, if I stop talking, that's why. But, so, I had to get a foundation because my homecoming was last night, and I didn't want to wear my BB cream because it had a bunch of SPF in it, and I knew that wouldn't look good in pictures. So, I went to the store, and I was actually pissed off that this was, like, $11, but I heard this was a really good foundation. And this is the Revlon Color Stay, and I am in the shade Sand Beige. And I actually, I am very impressed. I love this foundation. It stayed on literally all night. I was sweating in a gym and I was like, oh, turn up. And it stayed on all night. So I'm really impressed with that. So this is definitely a good thing. And then the first place I went to was Target. You can see what I got at Target. The first thing I got, um, you guys know I'm a waitress. So I have to write like my orders in little books and stuff. So I just got this little cute book. It's got these polka dots on it, and I was like from the one dollar section. And then I got some mouthwash. Nothing interesting. See, I buy the cheap stuff, and then I can spend more money on makeup. It's my philosophy. So yeah, nothing really exciting there. The next place I went to was Ulta, and there it's very boxy because I got something that I shouldn't have got, but I did. So yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna show it to you. This is the. 70 piece, what the frick is this called? Beauty Treasures 70 piece collection. And I was kind of like, I'm not going to buy it. And then the case, the, look how cute this is. It's pink and it's adorable. And I'm like, I can put my makeup in this for when I go to Pasadena. And then, because I was worried, I'm like, I'm going to have to buy all new makeup because I'm going to California. But I can just pack this. So, I'm super excited. It comes with, uh, let's see, 40 eyeshadows, 3 brow powders, 2 lipsticks, 3 blush shades, 1 bronzer, 1 eyeshadow quad, 6 gel eyeliners, 2 dual-ended eyeliners, 1 powder, 3 glitter eye top coats, 2 super shiny lip glosses, 2 eye primers, and 1 highlighter. And this is all for like 20 bucks. So, this is really awesome. This is a really good gift. And, guys, when you open it up, it's cheetah print. It's pink cheetah print i could not pass this up like no gaga no so i actually have barely looked at any of this but it seems pretty cool comes with a um coupon for ulta stuff and i have I actually have one of these it's not this particular one but it's another one of their weird collection things that they have from time to time at my dad's and that's my only makeup i use so i mean these are handy Especially if you don't want to buy, like, a bunch of makeup. I'm a more of a palette person. I can't buy single things. It weirds me out. So, all the shadows look really pretty. Kind of like a neutral, warm, toned base. And I'm going to try just to get this one thing out. Because I want to see what color these lipsticks are. It really makes me mad. They don't show you what color the lipsticks are. So, this is going to be, like, really ugly colors. Or, like, colors that don't go good with me. And I'm just going to have to deal with it. I can already feel it. But I was also thinking, because these little things come out, so even if I don't want to take this makeup to Rose, I can still use the cute case. I'm smart. I know. And now I have to open this. And I don't have scissors. And I have to tear it. Tearing it up. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry for not putting up a, um... A what's it called? A homecoming video. I kind of didn't want to. I was just kind of feeling lazy. I actually didn't know I was. I didn't want to go to homecoming until like last week when my friend asked me. So yeah. 
But these lip glosses look really pigmented. This one's called Berry, and it's really red. So I want to see how pigmented that is. It's so pretty. It's like for I'm gonna use this for the holidays. I'm gonna use this for the holidays. Okay. I really shouldn't talk about this so much because I've got like two more stores, but you know what? I'm still going to. And this one is called Charmed, and this is a really pretty pink. Kind of reminds me of that Mac a novel romance. Oh my god, it's so it's so glittery. Oh, I'm actually really happy about this. You know, I was kind of pissed off myself. I'm like, Kelsey just spent $20 on shit. But now I'm happy. So let's see, this is cappuccino oh i have this one at my dad's house and it's freaking brown and brown doesn't really go good with me oh god why cappuccino hold on one second mom sorry about that my mom just interrupted my video thanks mom i love my mom she's really glad i have a job because she would be really pissed off by spending all this money on makeup and then the next is raisin and i think this is gonna be a purple i don't know like a mauve. Oh, this upsets me. Oh, hold on, we're gonna swatch it. See, I hate these ultra lipsticks because they keep they they're poking. They can't stay still. Yeah, that's like a mauve. Okay, well, um, the glosses are good. The lipsticks, not so much, but that's okay. So if you're thinking of buying this just for the lipstick, don't buy it. Other than that, I mean, everything else looks really pretty. There's like a purple glitter in here. So I'm super excited to play with this. And the one thing that pisses me off, though, is that the way it goes in is that you have to basically take this out to play with the blushes. But other than that, and with the eyeshadows down here, because there's this really pretty silver one, and it's called Ice Queen, and that reminds me of Elsa. But yeah, so that's that really pretty. I'm actually really glad I bought this now, so that's good, because I was really regretting it. So the next thing I got from Ulta, the rest, um, mostly hair products. I'm going to show a beauty pro makeup product real quick. So this is the Essence Lipstick in Cotton Candy, and I already swatched this, so I don't want to swatch it again. But it's like this really pretty pink color, and it's like three bucks, and it's really cute, and I was like, yes, Gaga. So there's that. And then the next two are hair care products. So the first one is the Batiste floral and flirty blush dry shampoo and I got this in a really tiny bottle because the really big bottle was like ten dollars and I'm like well what if I don't like the formula I don't want to spend ten dollars on it if I'm not going to use it so I got a two dollar one and then I also got this not your mother's beach babe texturizing sea salt spray because I heard sea salt sprays are really good for your hair and like I said I got the tiny one just in case I don't like it so I'm trying to like volumize my hair I'm sorry my hair is really ratchet I actually I left all my hairbrushes and all my makeup in my car when I got home from homecoming last night. So I just like fluffed my hair and then went to bed. So I haven't brushed it yet and I actually bought a brush that's supposed to be like magical so we're going to test it out on this ratchet hair later. But yeah, so that's what I bought from Ulta. Next is Sephora and I hate myself when I go to Sephora. I wanted to get those like kiss me balms they have which are like the little um like they're like an EOS bomb but like a little egg but they're like pigment they are like lipsticks they're literally just like lipsticks they smell really good but I didn't get one because I'm like that's like a lipstick and so I got lip balms because I've been you guys know I've been literally obsessed with lip balms lately and I was gonna get the rosebud solve because Bethany Moda had been like praising the rosebud salt like everybody it's like a cult favorite and then I smelled it, and it kind of smelled really rank, and then the lady, like, not rank, but, like, just kind of, like, old lady-ish, and then the lady was like, well, I like the strawberry one, and I was like, strawberry? So, this is what it looks like, get it in some good light, this is the Smith Strawberry Lip Balm, Balm a la Livre, Fries. I take French, too, I don't even know how to pronounce that. So, it's, like, this really cute pink color, but it goes on the lips nude, I've already made a dent in it, I used it once, but... Holy shit, it smells so good. And I put this on. This is probably the best lip balm I've ever used. Like, this is so... I feel so moisturizing. I'm like, Jesus, yes. Like, it's it's not really... You can't put it under a lipstick because it's kind of thick, but it's like a beeswax, so it's like... Whoa, it's amazing. I, I love this. And then the next thing from Sephora... Uh, you guys know my best friend ever, Bubblicious Beauty. I will link her channel below because she's just so awesome. Uh, she's also does like beauty stuff and I was at her house yesterday getting ready for homecoming 
and she had this lip balm and it was the Sephora Super Nourishing Lip Balm. And I put it on and it was like Jesus's tears. It was like butter and heaven and love. It was so amazing. And I was like, praise Jesus, hallelujah. And oh my God, I'm trying to open it. But it's like a clear lip balm and it feels like, it literally feels like butter on your lips. It feels so good. And this was like $5. So she was like, yeah, it's like the best lip balm ever. She had already gone like through half of the tube. So I was like, well, I got to buy it to try it, you know? So this is what it looks like. And it smells like cupcakes. And just putting it on your skin feels amazing. So I think she actually put this in a birthday video. So you've probably heard her rave about this. But I finally got it. And now it's, it's amazing. And I love it. And I'm super excited to try it and like put it on my lips all the time. And then I had like 100 points at Sephora, so I decided to get something little. And I got this Glam Glow uh, Thirsty Mud. Ooh, girl, you thirsty. Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And I got a little tiny bottle of it. And I've heard a lot of good things about Glam Glow. Um, so I was like, well, I gotta try it, you know? And the lady told me, she's like, when you do it, sleep with it on. And then you wake up and then your face is like, hydration. So, she's like, it'll feel like you're 10 years younger, and I'm like, well, then I guess I'll feel like I'm six, but we all want to be six years old, don't we? So, I'm super excited to try that. And then the last place I went to, I didn't even want to go to TJ Maxx, but I literally got in my car, and it was like, the TJ Maxx beauty event, save a bunch of money on beauty products, and I was like, bro. So, I had to go to TJ Maxx, and I didn't find a lot of stuff. They don't have a lot of beauty products, but I did find this Bella Beauty Tangle Ease hairbrush and it looks it looks and feels a lot like the Tangle Teaser which is like $12 and this one was like six and it has a really cute design on it so I was like okay I guess I'll give it a try and right now if I can get it open I am going to see if it actually detangles my hair because like I mentioned earlier this hair has I curled it last night. It's been ratchet. I didn't wash it in the shower last night. I just washed my body. And it hasn't been brushed for a while. So we're going to see how magical this hairbrush does. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Okay. Ow. That was actually pretty smooth. Like, it hurt a little bit at the bottom, but I feel like it's a lot smoother than if I were using, like, a, um... You know, like if I were using like a not, like a normal brush. So I like it. I like it. Ow, shit. <laughs> okay, so little curls down here, probably not going to get through, but I do like it. it it's it got hair in it already. <laughs> but this is a good brush, so I'm kind of glad I bought it. Good job, Kelsey. And then I found something. Bethany Moda has been raving about this face wash and I swear to god they didn't have like a tiny bottle so I had to get the big ass like 47 milliliter like 16 ounces of this face wash so Bethany Moda if you are lying to me then I'm gonna be mad but it was like $20 at Ulta and in a tinier bottle but this one had a bigger bottle for only $10 so I was like well I guess I should try it and I smelled it and it smelled really fresh like it's like I can't even smell it now, I just smell my hands. It smells like really fresh, it smells really clean, and it, um... Hold up. I am so mad! I didn't buy the Bliss Fabulous Foaming Face Wash, I just spent 10 bucks on the Bliss Fabulous Foaming Body Wash. I was wondering why it was such a big damn bottle. Body wash. I am so mad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because, like, I read the back and it said below the neck. I'm like, what does that mean? You know what? I'm going to use it on my face. I don't care. I'm literally going to wash my face with this. And then I guess I'll wash my body with it. And then I guess I'll wash my feet with it. I don't know. I'm really mad. Oh my god. I was... Okay. Well, besides that huge disappointment of me not reading correctly, um, that's what I got. So, thank you guys for watching, and...
Sorry, I look ratchet in my band t-shirt and my crazy ass hair. I will be back to putting up normal videos Thursday, and I will see you bunnies later.